hey welcome back hey y'all um we are driving over to my sister's house she invited us over for pizza ice cream and for the kids to jump on their new trampoline um i felt so bad for her so they've debated getting a trampoline for years they have five kids and her husband really was like, yeah, they're kind of dangerous. And she's like, well, most people have them. And like, we had one for nine years with our kids and never had any major injuries, just a little hurt here and there. So they finally decided to get one. And I'm not kidding you, Ryan went over there to help them build it the other day, put it together. She let them get on the trampoline. They were on it for five minutes. I'm not kidding, five minutes, that's it. And her youngest, who I think he's four, yeah. um, broke his leg. Not kidding. Um, he slipped, and then his brother tripped over him and kind of fell on him, I think. We're not exactly sure what happened. That's what we think. It wasn't like a big ordeal. Anyway, he just kind of cried and wasn't really getting better. She took him to the urgent care, and sure enough, he broke his leg. I felt so bad for her. Oh, so anyway, here's to no more injuries to my sister's family on the trampoline. Hopefully good years to come on there. But anyway, our kids are excited because we really haven't done trampoline in a while and they love pizza and ice cream and they love their cousins. So win, win, win. Are y'all excited guys? Yeah! And we really don't go to their house that much because they live in the same town as my parents. We stay a little longer now with RVing when we come here, but we used to just come for a weekend trip, like about every two or three months, we'd come stay three nights, two or three nights at my parents' house. So we weren't here long, so my sister and them would just come over to my parents and see us always. So this is a fun treat to actually go over to their house. Should be a fun afternoon. <laughs> Yay! Cool. Somebody is gonna come back and go. Is that fine, boys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying. I'm Typical dudes. They are in here with this video game. So who is who? Uh, who's I'm Mario? I'm Mario. I'm that thing. You're the guy on the bottom left? Yeah. Having pizza? Yeah. yeah. What you got, girls? You love pizza? Avery has the awesome table here with all her slime making stuff. It's the cutest thing. So it's slime that's already made and you just decorate it with glitter and balls and all kinds of stuff. We're definitely to make a slime because I might have so fun. Well, let me see y'all's made slime. Can you show me? This is my made slime. Let me see. Okay. Ooh, that's cute. My slime is right here, and my other one's right there, too, um, because it's going to... Let me see yours, treasure. I'm making it. I'm still making it. Ooh, pretty liberty. And then, Chuby, let me see yours. These are mine. Ooh, pretty. I haven't finished this one. Bravely, let me see yours. I'm going to put some... That's beautiful. Do you love it? River, you decorating yeah. it? Let me see. Where's the I think green I put one? A little too Where's the this green, green one? one right here? One, one. Oh, can I have it for? Yeah. Look. Aunt Angie did an awesome ice cream sundae bar. Was it awesome, boys? Yeah. Yes. Is it awesome? Uh -huh. So that I can drink water. Okay, so what'd y'all put on y'all? I put on. Everything, every, every everything besides sprinkles. So what was everything? So there's uh, chocolate, strawberry jelly, or something like that. I didn't put chocolate syrup, caramel syrup, milk cream. I put everything yeah. except like manning except a strawberry syrup. I didn't get the strawberry either. I don't really like it. Do you not either? Yeah, I, I like the caramel and the chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I meant the strawberry. 
with the whipped cream. Is that and pretty I good? Eat it with the ice cream. I got you. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Marcy. Go like five Okay, the girls are so excited. What are y'all playing, girls? Dress up. Dress up. Oh, our girls used to play dress up all the time. We actually had a full dress up closet. Do y'all remember that, girls? Yeah. With tons of dress up clothes and a little mirror and stuff. Are y'all happy to get to play dress up again? Yep. Mm -hmm. So cute. Treasure that is like an adorable outfit. Yeah, but she kind of has a hat on. Can you do a little spin around for me? Cute. All right, we made it back from my sister's house. The kids had an absolute blast. We had a great time too. And now Ryan and I are back out in the RV. We've been kind of putting stuff back together and cleaning up and our shades. Besides, the beds are not gonna work. This is them, and they're just too thick, and there's no way to get that balance off. So I'm probably gonna have to reorder um, just for those two windows, same kind of shades, but without a balance. We'll make sure those will work without, and but we'll start hanging them elsewhere and see how that looks. All right, so we got our first shade hung and it looks really nice. It, I like it, so you can see it's just a gray and white stripe pattern, kind of nice, light and bright, and looks really good right there. So yay, don't love that I'll have to order more for by the beds, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so we just got the water bottle uh, racks put up. I think Kristen talked about it in another video, but yeah, we had some complications. This is what we had up here. And as you can see, these are inset inside of the trim pieces. So uh, they go back, the water bottles fit perfectly, and I think it looks great. Me too. I just love having those personalized water bottles. So cute. Yep. And I like those spice racks turned out perfect for here. Yep. It's another day and believe it or not, it's snowing. See that on my hair? That is real snow in Texas. South East Texas believe it or not. So pretty cool. About to go tell the kids. I don't know if they know it yet. They're inside my parents' house. Um, we have been working on a few things in the RV. Ryan's getting ready to paint our bedroom. So he's just prepping today and he'll start painting tomorrow. And I'm getting ready to play um, Mexican train dominoes with my mom and some of our kids. So anyway fun times snow in texas Hi. southeast texas snow believe it or not oh i know <laughs> yeah you can tell it's texas snow because i got kids in shorts and kids without shirts on <laughs> that's beautiful isn't it look yeah. at all that feels like us like this that landed on my jacket. Well, I wonder <laughs> if we'll have any stick to the ground. What do y'all think? Uh, I hope so. It's stuck to the slide. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is sticking to the slide. Cool. Slide has, the slide has the slide has snow on That's pretty cool. There's some big, pretty snowflakes for Texas, anyway. <laughs> so, this is what happens in Texas when it snows. It's like kind of a big deal. So, I know uh, a lot of y'all up north can make fun of us, but down here, this is like a uh, reason to celebrate and have a party. This is a ton of snow here, guys, and it's not sticking to the ground. So, I know you up north think crazy but um we've traveled a lot and seen snow now 
And I'm telling you, this is a lot of snow for Texas. I have hardly ever seen this much snow. It does, I'll give you an idea. It does not snow every year here. It snows like maybe once every four years and it's not even close to this much usually. I mean, I'm 44. I, I can only remember it snowing three or four times my whole life. So yep. it gives you an idea. I remember it sticking to the ground probably a couple inches one time when I was a kid and we were so excited. It was the first time and only time in Texas that we truly had snow stuck to the ground and my grandma made snow ice cream and we were like so excited. Yep. <laughs> we made snow angels and got to do all the stuff we'd seen in the movies but never done before. Yep. So yay for a Texas snow. My Facebook feed is filled with everybody else in the Texas snow. Excited just <laughs> like us. You can't see it on the ground, but you can see little flakes falling. Yep. Well, it didn't end up sticking to the ground, the snow, but that's okay. We feel like we've really got our fix on snow because like I said, we've never hardly experienced snow. So last year, Thanksgiving in Arizona of all places, how many inches of snow did we have? 22. 22 inches of snow in the RV and so I mean we did not have snow wear but we didn't care we bundled up with every clothing we had and got out there and played in that snow and it was fun yes it was so I'll flash back to that here so you can see that my four-wheel drive on yes. my truck <laughs> first time right first time yeah yeah that was fun it was I'm glad he was doing it I was a little nervous <laughs> we were driving the van around we had to drive just across a parking lot to ride the Polar Express train that was a little nerve-wracking yes no that, that was crazy we were watching people like fall down the hill and slide all around and yeah. We, we were had, going very slow. And, and us, we had to we had to get our family of uh, twelve in you know up to the train from the parking lot. So we were watching people crash everywhere, and <laughs> we we're like, oh boy, yeah, here we go. It was pretty creepy. Yep. Not something I would want to live in. How you people up north do it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But definitely fun to experience for a vacation, and it was pretty to see the snow today anyway we enjoyed it who yeah. knows maybe there'll be snow when we wake up in the morning but uh ryan has been out taping and preparing to paint our room and i lost really bad on mexican train played with my mom and the kids <laughs> and my, i made it my goal to beat rhythm because he and i were like he was second to last i was last and so i barely came in and beat him but that's it <laughs> tapestry one so yay tapestry yeah anyway hope you're doing well and we'll see you next time